Today, we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da. You Orion. This is Standard. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGB, and today, it is the 4th of July. And we will once again be fighting for our freedom. And I've done the Independence Day shtick on the channel before. Look up the other uh, 4th of July videos. Uh, but it is once a year, only once a year, we pull out the red, white, and blue. Remind you all how American I am. If that tilts you, if that's a trigger for you, I'm sorry. I don't do it for that reason. I really do just want to show that I am uh, uh, proud and grateful to the people who helped make my country a very excellent country where I can go from a person who has a name tag on my shirt at the mall to, with, through hard work, perseverance, and a dream, become the one in best of one. And if, you know, having a little bit of, a little bit of uh, pride in my country is tilting for you, don't worry. The other 364 days a year, you get a sweet video to enjoy. So, uh, thank you very much to those who indulge me. We are playing a Jeskai control deck. We are going to counter our opponent's spells and blow up their things. It's what I love about magic, and I'm free to do what I want. I've got the Chromo Seed Shark. You want to talk about a sick card? Let's make some Incubator tokens with this sick shark. That's going to be a lot of fun. And on top of that, we have other ways to get Incubator tokens like Sunfall. Those Incubator tokens are what can make our Disruption Protocol only two mana and in crucial fashion, uh, not a make disappear. So the opponent later in the game can't just pay mana to get around it. So we can win those control mirrors. And on top of that, I get to Silver Scrutiny, Memory Deluge, see a lot of cards, and play a one of fun of Zergo and Ojitai. This is a very, very fun deck that is very good against other control decks. So I'm going to enjoy just shark attack in the ladder. Let's dive in. Let the Independence Day nonsense begin. On the play with Four drops and a five. Yeah, why not? What do we need red mana for? Fairy avatar means they're gonna play a slow deck anyway. All fine. I'm trying to save the Mirex for if we need red mana. <laughs> what a weird meta we're in. Takes memory deluge. Most people take the Wandering Emperor. I mean, play another one, obviously. I'm, I'm tempted. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't know why that took them as long as that did. Kind of unreasonable. But whatever. Here's a shark. And there's a farewell. So this takes the red mana off the table, which is kind of bad, but whatever. We'll just give them the shark treatment. They're not doing much. Double duress in a deck that might be might be Jund, but could be Rakdos. And now they have a go for the throat, so they must have top decked it. Weird. Ojitai. Do we find a red source? We do. We also find Memory Deluge, which can probably help find a red source. We should take that instead. Do I leave this on the battlefield? Eh, yeah, I will. They only killed one of the sharks. They left the other one. They might not have removal for it. Max upside play. Ooh. 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 Dude. All this duress and you can't kill a creature. So sad. I'll take the land. Uh, decline. We're, we're, we are grooving. This is great. We are fine. All right. Uh, still a mana short of breaching the multiverse. Here's a Chandra. Let's go in for Memory Deluge. Oops, I didn't leave up double blue. Didn't get bitten for it either. The Chandra goes to one? Is that how this works? Chandra goes to one. They're at six. Man, I could cast the Scrutiny for zero and attack for lethal. Lethal. Pathetic. Phyrexia to Ash. I gotta remember to leave double blue up. I haven't played Counterspell in Standard in a minute. Oh, 
making my <laughs> I'm disappointing my country with that play for sure. All right, three damage. Can I promise you fireworks? And in we go. We drew the negate. It was one more card down, and that would have just won the game on the spot. So here comes their breach, the multiverse, maybe? Seriously, double duress. Go for the throat, Chandra. And I'll just... I'm sure if we disrupt them at all at this stage, the game will end. Whoa! They are junned. They just run Terra Sunder in their deck. Okay. Well, there's that. Let's get a fresh set of cards. All right, don't breach the multiverse on me. Never didn't have it. Uh. They're going Ojitai and Chandra, huh? They have picked a card. Would they like to return this to the owner's hand? Weird, no. <laughs> okay, you exiled five cards and you got to burn down the house. We have a reality chip. All right. Land. Kick it. Victory is in your hands now. Unfortunate. I am way off so far in this game. I will recover in the next one, though. Here's my reality chip. Are you scared? Would you like to burn it to the ground or make some devils? Cycle. It means the other card's a land, right? If they did that first. And there's your land. Devils it is. Okay, I will block one. So, Brotherhood's End kills the Devils, but also kills the Chip. There is a protocol on top of the deck. I think we just pass and Mirix. I have played this one terribly. I get it. My first game of the day. Let me be. I'm waking up over here. I got some work to do. But we can still steal it. Just because you played bad doesn't mean you can't win. Now, they attack with those devils. They have removal? And even if they do, don't I just counter it? I think they forgot about the Murex. I think they forgot all about it. This hand is good. It might be slow. I mean, I might take like half my life total and damage from Mono Red before I cast Brotherhood's End. And then they play a follow-up creature and I lose, but we'll try it. Coasty. Coasty with the mosty. Well, the memory deluges against a control deck should be very good. Realm Breaker. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, no. No, you don't get to mill me and take my land. Get that off my battlefield. There you go. Nice nice little draw go time. Let's 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 play draw go. Do we let that happen? Yep. Don't think we can fight over absolutely every memory deluge. We've got to counter Jace's. So, hit every single land drop, counter the Jace's. That should be good enough, right? They just run out of wing cons. Okay, they have no counter spells right now. That is good to know. Uh, do we take a shark? I like my sharks. It's good later in the game, though. It's not good right now. They showed us a Realm Breaker. Do we take a Brotherhood's End? Because they might also have, like, Celestis and such. I think I do. Cast another one. We'll just discard the hand size. 
opponent if you're bored you're basically playing like you're not doing anything either doing the same thing i'm doing sunfall we probably don't need so i'm okay discarding a sunfall yep uh do we let him do it yeah like i said just counter the jaces at every land drop encounter the jaces There's the Jace. Here's a counter spell. They did not counter the counter. Love it. Try again? Not yet. They got nervous, I think. I think they have another Jace and they got nervous. Murex and Negate. The clock starts. Ooh, a Wandering Emperor is good for pressure, too. Cycle, you got it. Oh no, Jace! Countered. <laughs> Let's give him the business with the Emperor. Otawara? Interesting. Oh, except this 2-2. Two -two. Like I said, we need to hit every single land drop. But then we're tapped out for a turn, so I guess not. The reason you need the land drops is they might run Make Disappears. Most of the decks do. But in this case, maybe we're fine. You see, there hasn't been a lot of priority stick on the stack. Only when there's permanence on the battlefield. Full partition, you got it. Our swords will cross again. May your blades true. Make a one one. And now the pressure is constant. Sunfall. Trying to decide if it's worth it to kill any of my own stuff or to counter this. I don't think it's worth it. Nothing I can't handle. One, two, three, four, five, six leaves up two. Eight leaves up Wandering Emperor and Murex. I've learned much during my travel. Let me show Let your blade do the talking. And we're right back on the board. Destroy all artifacts. Sorry, Murex token. Sorry, little token. May your blade strike. I think you'll be okay with against the next realm breaker from our current position. We have two counters open if we play it right. Lay down arms, yay. Cycle, yay. Thirst. Okay. So they do probably run Make Disappears in this deck. It looks like uh, very close to a version of Blue White that I played recently on the channel. Maybe within the last month or so when I say recently. Some of y'all don't have memories that go back that far. Sunfall. Beautiful. Plus one plus one on our Vigilant Creature. We've got the edge Give him the business. Fight. Soul partition, okay. What else you got? Farewell. Farewell. Yeah, let's try flashing this back then. Card draw. A lot of land on the bottom though. Zergo and Ojitai. We must protect the people. What you got? 
Dragon. Oh, a little cycle of panic. Your lay down arms will not save you. Nothing will save you. Land drop, land drop, land drop. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, you come home. You come home. Opponent doesn't need any Zergo time like I do. Not, that's not true. Zergo sucks. It's Ojitai that we love. Oh no, it's Jace. What'll I do? You got another counter? You gonna, you gonna push it? Uh, I pay. <laughs> okay. 33 cards. Gonna need another one of those. Three cards, four cards. They just draw one card with the mill. They have to do this just to not die to Zergo and Ojitai. And I think they're still dead. You can go like this. You can go like this. Because they're all out of gas. And that's six. Control mirror dominated. You love to see it. On the play. Let's see that reality chip do some work. Ha! They're terrified of me. They cower in fear. Whether you are a student of the dojo or a salty mono red scrub, head over to Moxfield, the official home for all of my deck lists. Study the curve, see an example hand, or do a virtual play test. Whether you're trying to beat the one or study your sensei, find everything you need at Moxfield. Moxfield.com, the best site for Magic the Gathering decks on the internet. The opponent goes first, so we're really happy to have a fires in hand. We'll keep. Mono white, but no plays. It's weird. I'm ready for wedding announcement. Or not. Blue white control again. It's everywhere. This is union is totally fine. So what do we do again? We counter their win cons and we let them deck themselves or we beat them up with wandering emperors. You got it. This has to be like mind splice apparatus. Do we have to counter mind splice apparatus? I don't have any cards that easily deal with it on the board. Really just the farewell. So yeah, I guess we do have to, we've got to kill the mind splice. So if we go for the wandering emperor and they resolve a mind splice apparatus, that is so bad for us, but we can't hold up the mana to deal with it all game. We have to, we have to play aggressive. We have to go for it. Happy to trade with a syncopate here. I guess we can let them have the mind splice and count again, try to find the win cons and counter those cards that shuffle syncopates and such back into the deck. So we drew a counter spell last time. Let's try to draw another counter spell. This time they slam mind splice. All right, so let them have the Mind Splice just counter the best cards because our counters are hard counters. Usually Mind Splice helps you get around things like Make Disappear, right? But we aren't playing that. We're playing something else. May your blade strike true. It probably won't give us any targets whatsoever for Fires of Victory. So we're looking for opportunities to kick it and target our own things, which is really bad, but we do what we must. Oh, they have a Murex, okay. Murex gives us targets. They're gonna syncopate this. They're gonna go for double mind splice. Yep, you gotta let them have those. Shark Emperor, not what we wanted to see. Not what we wanted to see, but I'll try it. Could be worse, I guess. Try to make them wrap this board, then play the shark. Yep, that's a sunfall. 
another potential win con. See if they have anything for the memories. Yay! Alright. Counter, yes. Celestis? Yes. Guards, to me. Shark into Celestis? Leaves up three? That's not terrible. I mean, we have to play them sometime. We incubate. And we have Celestis. And these two will probably die. <laughs> All part of the experience. We are outcarding them, and that is an important part of the equation. Yep, yep, yep. You get that, you get this. All good. You get cheaper cards. Beware Silver Scrutiny. Beware Silver Scrutiny. Although, maybe we're supposed to let them draw a million cards. The Syncopates will be hard will be hard counters, though, and they still have three of them. Alright, Shark down. You want to kill Wandering Emperor? I think that's fine. We could power this up, though, and block, and then we're tapped out. Well, what are they going to do? Cast a huge scrutiny or a twilight? We'll, fi we'll, we'll make them have it. They want to do some marching here to kill this wandering emperor? Great. Yep. That is totally fine. People hate planeswalkers, man. What what can you say? They really hate planeswalkers. Here comes a 2 2. Here comes a shark. Make him solve another one. They're running out of stuff? It's the thing with the Mind's Place deck. If they don't have a scrutiny with all this cost reduction that resolves, they end up in trouble. At this point, I'd probably counter a scrutiny. They need the cards really desperately. There it is. Two mana draw seven seems good. In the gate. I mean, that could be a lethal blow. X equals seven on a twilight. I let that resolve. Yeah, too dangerous. Whereas if we resolve this negate here and they're on one card, we might be able to push through and win this game before they recover. It's possible. And we do have protocols we can deluge into that we haven't found yet. Ooh, naming artifact here is juicy. Oh, my Celestis. Do what we must. All graveyards, all artifacts. Make a 6-6, six, six, exile it. Let's go. All right. Shield's definitely down, though. But without that cost reduction, a lot of their cards don't do as much, and they're scooping it up. <laughs> they're scared to continue. Yes. More control domination asserted. Ah, will this be the game of the reality chip? Let's find out. Black mana. <laughs> Cut down. Easy. Nope. Ooh. Quick, I need a creature. Black, white. Shadow. Fun. Pass it over. See if we can get our opponent to activate their shadow before we light it on fire. No! What? 
clowned by Lauren. Since when does everybody just put this in their main deck, huh? The hell is this crap? All right, kill it. Let's get the Celestis down. Honoring Emperor later. Celestis now. At least the Lauren, like the reality chip ate the Lauren. Finally have reality chip and what what happens, Lauren? <laughs> Way to play an artifact, you noob. But maybe the Celestis will live. Black, white, dorks. Got it. Fun times. Shark. Sunfall. Get out. Oh, oh, are we Lauren drawing? Tell me we're Lauren drawing. Yes. My cards will be better than your cards, I have a feeling. Paragon's a good one. A very, very good one. A little value. Memory Deluge. Nothing I really want to discard here to the Celestis. Um, I'll just take my one life, I guess. Free Shadow. Hype. Kill it. End it. Feel the energy of battle. Then guide it like water. Eh? Uh, okay. You got me. A little retaliation from the opponent. My judgment is Let's fun. not power this up. It helps to have a little artifact hanging out. If we turn it into a living thing, they can probably kill it. Or at least do something rude. Here's my shark. Does my shark die? Jeez! Alright, um... In responses? They might breach the multiverse on me, but I didn't have a counterspell anyway. I don't mind my creatures getting exiled. I don't have a way to get them back, and my opponent runs Trespasser, so it might be saving me points of life to get my to get them exiled. Like I did earlier with the reality chip. Instead of killing the shadow in response. Yeah, right now no creatures in yard is where we want to be. Oh oh pump it. Yes. Oh, all the way. Now, we don't want to kill this on our turn because Restoration of Iganjo gets it back. We need to time it carefully. Still like my hand. They do run Breach the Multiverse. We have a Negate now. How to play it. So they have a ton of mana they can put into this thing. Should probably try to block it a little bit. Or we could just take it. See how much mana they want to put into it. They might be afraid of a Wandering Emperor, so maybe they don't pump it to the moon. If they do pump it to the moon, we can cast the Scrutiny or the Memory Deluge, right? Okay. I mean, it looks like they just want go to go the distance here. Three mana open, sure. What are you doing with that? It's kind of a tell of, they, of something that they have, right? What is it? What is it? More cards can't hurt. All creatures, all graveyards, all enchantments. Pretty cool. I will never see that particular shadow again. There's the breach, there's the counter. The shark. I feel like my first priority should be to find another counter spell. 
If I do this for five, I should be able to hit a land drop and a counter. Bingo. Because they might have double breach, and they're gonna scoop it up to that. So, ta-da! Another one bites the dust. Been a greedy, grindy meta, which makes this hand look all right. Reading my opponent's signals, they don't look like they're playing mo a really fast deck. I'm gonna try it. I mean, we'll get absolutely brutally punished if they played mono red, but I just, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Like nobody is playing these, <laughs> nobody is playing aggro today. It's all control in mid range, which makes me love cards in my deck like negate and silver scrutiny. And we're up against mono blue. So I don't have a great hand against mono blue, but our opponent will be just very, I think, sus. They'll be wary in general. So, you know, the usual just not doing anything, just stacking my hand, kind of opening turns from, from our opponent. If we go for something like a shark or a Celestis, they will counter it, I think. I'm gonna go for the shark. Choose optimism. It's got a weakness to fading hope, though. Yeah, when I kept the hand a little nervous. Okay, if they don't play a Jin here, we're good. They do. We're not good. Nothing is good. We've got to bounce that Jin. The question of when. I don't like giving them all this cost reduction to play all their stuff, but if they tap enough lands, they won't replay it. Go to 16. Uh, let's try this. Maybe they'll counter it. It is a war of cards very often. Yep, we got a negate. That's good. No uh, make disappear. Um, Five from the Jin. Let's see if we can get this down. Should be good against them if it resolves. The opponent just counters everything and they don't have a reload. We have a good chance. They're going to thirst. That's really good. Yeah, their hand's pretty busted, and we've just flooded, so we could easily lose this. But we did get our Celestis. There's a terror. It's not good either. All right, we're going to be living on the edge. Another land. So bad. I mean, look at this. Look at this draw. Shuffler, are you fine? You doing okay? Ah, they must have a counter if they're doing that, right? So even if we drew a sunfall, it wouldn't work. What a joke. What an absolute joke of a game. Two sharks, one memory deluge. A million lands. Shuffler. Shuffler, why? Why are you like this? Who hurt you? Too many wins in a row. They fixed me. It's a slow hand, and I really wish I had a fires, but it's also a slow deck. You just kind of keep these things and see what happens. A lot of control decks out there. Not getting punished for not being the fastest possible lately, so. Let's do the thing. No reason to play a shark here if we're just going to stare at each other. Murex it with them on the play the Murex is really good Let's See if we can catch him Yep, but they can't Murex again, so it slows them down Got 
gotta remember that protocol is actually three mana. The shark doesn't help you pay for it. So this turn we'll go for scrutiny when they do nothing. The next turn we go for a shark. Backed up by a counter spell. They, they, people look like troll mages. They're terrified of card draw. Whoa! Memory delusion response. Okay. You think that's what's important? It's a lot of land. That is a lot of land. That's not good. But, shark time. What are you gonna do? Cut down your own might? Nothing. Wandering Emperor. Okie dokie. Uh, land. Go ahead. Don't want to have to counter a Wandering Emperor. Happy to let it resolve at this stage. They also might get scared of a counter spell themselves. And they're making Phyrexians instead of casting their Memory Deluge or using their Field of Ruin, so it's all good. Field of Ruin's probably for Murex. They might basics check me though. My memories come with creatures. Very scary, powerful creatures. Incubator tokens. Ah, you can feel it. They feel compelled to act. But they're scared too. Okay, two protocols. That's pretty good. That's a lot of action. What are they going to do? I might flash back the memory deluge if I tap out. They did that before. I, I would actually love that. Yeah, you do that. They think they're going to beat me with the right combination of cards. They better say can't be countered on them or they're going to... They're probably just going to get drowned in this game. Because their board is terrible compared to mine. Uh, four? Shuffler's fine. Let the party begin. Sunfall, you can go. I mean, opponent, do you like your spells resolving or is it just fine if they don't? Yeah, they they really think that they're gonna pull this off. Let's see if they're let's see if they're right. I mean, I I don't know how they're going to out counter me. Sure, you 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 uh, negated. Each of these casts is another creature for me, and more of your mana that didn't do anything. So this is because they have a cut down, right? I power this up, they're gonna cut it down. So let's just take it. We'll find another opportunity to pay these off. If they get tapped out and then we swing in for the final points, right? Then play around their cut down works out. There's some games where that doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, destroyed. Just, I love the control matchups with this deck. Opponent goes first, our hand is slow, it has bad mana. But, sharks. Okay, shuffler's fine. Little white creatures. Not a good hand against little white creatures, but maybe they can't deal with the shark. Maybe they don't have the Thalia. Okay. Well, that's... <laughs> this game is rigged, man. What a piece of trash. They don't slow down on me. I don't suppose they'll give me a Brotherhood's End off the top after four Memory Deluge in a matchup where Memory Deluge is not good. Will they? I mean, our opponent has Brutal Cathar. They're, they are a real and elite magic player. And the top of the deck is another shark. Yeah, am I alive? I'm not alive.
Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Opponent goes first. We have nothing until turn three, but I've had a slow meta today, so I'm just keeping everything and clowning on every mid-range deck that dares oppose me. Like this sucker over here. Although, Celestis is really good. <laughs> Resto Iganjo? Let's just get some cards cast here. We're not doing enough. Wedding announcement, sure. A little slow, so with the farewell, we'll be fine. Land and more memories. Okay. I have more memory deluge than red sources in my deck confirmed. Nineteen. Pass turn. Okay. Gonna end up discarding a hand size if we're not careful, so hold the scrutiny. There's a red source. Kinda want that Mirix too, but I think I mmm. 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 Negate. Negate's too good. Oh oh, upkeep activities. Opponent's gonna basic check me. What's what? Oh my god, the other one's gonna hit. Because I drew my planes, did I? Where's my planes? Thought I had a planes in this deck. I guess not. Whiff? I really thought I had a planes in here. Three basics. Somebody took one from me somehow. Basics thief. Um, all right. So cast this now. Could hit Brotherhood's End. It's like free mana. I have trouble turning that down. Well, farewell next turn. <laughs> Fourth memory. Deluge? Are you joking? Uh, let's... I'm, not, I, I'm honestly not sure. I, why not? LOL. Two cards to discard. Cringe. It's alright. We'll hit all our land drops. Our opponent will have no chance. They will bow to the might of our counter spells. We just have to be patient. There's the Paragon, which gets back the Strip Mines, so that has to be countered. Good exile graveyards. I'm actually going to even get the, the demolition field out of here. We still have a handful of card advantage. So eternal wanderer is like what we really don't want to see. Great. That's, that's, that's nice. That's a good draw. That is a very good draw. Sharky shark. Us? Okay. Responses. Let's see if the opponent goes after our token with their Eternal Wanderer. Keeps them from making a dumb, another double striker, though. Yep. Patience. 
The strategy is working, but we're slowly pulling it away on cards, and that hopefully is what makes the big difference. Two counters open this turn. Only one creature can attack Eternal Wanderer at the time. We gotta keep that in mind. We would like to have a very large shark for the job. At the same time, this can plus to exile that large shark. Hey! Really? Alright, what are they going to resolve if I go for scrutiny? Not that much, right? This won't be bad. Ooh, I can sunfall now. With the shark exiled. Oh, oh no. Oh, opponent, what have you done? What have you done? Got too aggressive. You committed the classic blunder. You tried to win the game. All right, shark's coming back. Don't even need to attack this wanderer. Wanderer is very much under control at the moment. When you get it on the back foot and you're able to pressure it from multiple angles, it becomes a much tougher card to, to use. Eventually we'll find fires, right? That's the idea. And fires. Patience. Army. You got it. That's all you got? Emperor? They probably have an emperor of their own, but we have a negate. I think there would have been a stick there, though, if they did. All right. Samurai. Aye, aye, aye. Chip? Is this the game the chip pays off? Fires on top? Castable fires of victory. Only does four, though. Guards, to me. My All right, hold up the counter spells. You could minus. Kills the shark. Sun fall. This isn't the worst. Especially if we respond like this, because they haven't activated this yet. I'll defend my allies. Really interesting game. I'm gonna get him with the reality chip. I can feel it. This chip is going in. What's the an eternal wanderer to do? Whoa! Didn't see that one coming. Okay. Gotta go toe to toe with their five five. Strike fast and strike only one off. creature can attack the eternal wanderer each turn. Looks like a Chumpers. Must defend Planeswalker. Never, never didn't defend Planeswalker. Every player ever. The demo field. Well, now we have enough lands that this isn't the backbreaker it was threatening to be. They're going for it. I'll take the Murex off the top. That seems fun. My 5-5. Five five. Zergo and Ojitai. Ooh, Brotherhood's End? I mean, that can help the situation. Kills my Emperor, though. Not a bad card to have around. It might do something about my Emperor. 
are coming and it might even me. be a fine trade with an eternal wanderer anyway it looks like i might be able to kill it though let's power up <laughs> shark on top do you die you do we'll finish this later reconfigure chip game activate Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hit it around Brotherhood's end with the plus one. Remember your training. Lay down arms, my shark. No! I refuse. Even if I have another one, nothing can replace this shark in my heart. Paragon. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Murica. Another victory. And we are back for the post game wraps. Uh, to wrap this one up, play this deck if you like going against other mid range decks and control decks, and you have the stamina to kind of lose to mono white and mono red when they're on the play because it's not designed to be the fastest deck in the land. It's designed to be the one that can endure the longest. So if you are the type who really gets mad about losing to aggro, this deck might not be for you. But if you really enjoy the chess match uh, control games, this one can bring it home. Very cool deck. I really, when I, when I go on ladder, I do not want to play against this one. I want to play against the more traditional builds of control decks right now where I just counter their Jaces with my disruption protocols and they lose. That's fun. All right, what other things do I have to share with you? There's been some, you, you guys have noticed I've been doing the redirects, the little videos that send you over to other channels that post my stuff. However, not every channel posts my stuff on the schedule they say they're going to. So uh, if a day is missed in there, like I think I might actually, on the day I'm recording this, I'm not sure if a video is going to go up or not because I'm waiting for a video to post on the other channel that might not post. So if that kind of thing happens, you're just gonna have to forgive me. The streak ended if I go a day without a video. I'm sure you understand. I also have a big vacation later this month. I don't know if I'm going to cover it with videos. And that's all fine because standard is so standard at the moment. And there's some glimmers of excitement in other formats. Alchemy is very exciting and it has a rotation coming up. So I'm more interested in it. I always love Historic Brawl. Always. So maybe something like that becomes more interesting. I'm definitely struggling with Finding a spark in standard, so I'm grateful for today is like today when I can play an America-themed deck on the 4th of July and just embrace the all the international hate that comes with it. I honestly don't do it to make people around the world uh, angry. Some are like, you're disrespecting, you know, other countries. It's like, no, I am really just... I practice gratitude. You can read some stuff online about practicing gratitude. It's really mentally healthy and helps you stay positive like i am grateful for magic the gathering and i'm grateful for magic the gathering arena too even if standard isn't particularly great i'm really glad i can play this sweet sweet client whenever i want and i'm grateful that i live in america because there are countries i could have been born in where maybe i wouldn't have sweet fiber connection connecting me to all of you so i can be the one and best of one there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are wrong you know with all out patriotism and i get that but uh, i'm still gonna say i'm you know when I say I'm proud to be an American, I mean it. I'm glad to be here. And when you guys think of crazy uh, rock stars and insane politicians and over-the-top movie stars and loud tourists, I, I, I can't. There's nothing I can do about the loud tourists, guys. Why, why are Americans so loud when we visit other countries? I, d I can't help you with that one. But I hope you also think about me, the one best of one in here trying to get you a video every single day and if me talking about my country triggers you don't worry the other 364 days a year just pretend i'm from canada or something but one day a year i'm gonna i'm gonna try to shout out the country for taking for taking giving me these opportunities man it means a lot to me all right anyway rambles and rambles i haven't done one of these post game rambles in a minute because i've been trying to crank out videos but i do have a vacation coming up this month I probably won't be able to keep the daily videos going the whole time. I'm going to be out of the country for like, like uh, two weeks, more than that, Barcelona. 
see see hopefully many of you in Barcelona. I really would like to meet the international fans. I've never been overseas as the one in best of one. That all happened since uh, the last time I got to travel. And the last time I was overseas was Barcelona. It was a lovely time. So uh, Magic on Barcelona, come out, play. Uh, I'd love to meet all of you, take some pictures, sign some tokens, whatever you like. I'm down. And uh, Indiana Jones. I don't think I talked about Indiana Jones. If you go see the Indiana Jones movie in the theater, it should be because you love the other Indiana Jones movies. Now, if you love those movies, I think you will enjoy this movie. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like too much like Kingdom of the Crystal Skull did, a movie I would rather forget. It feels like the right amount, and it feels like a good experience with the characters. But if you have never seen an Indiana Jones movie or if an Indiana Jones movie marathon does not sound cool to you, don't go to the theater because this one's really for the fans. It's not an all time banger. It's not trying to introduce a new audience to Indiana Jones for the first time and win them over. It's not trying to show the TikTok generation that the boomers still got it kind of thing, which I actually appreciate. A lot of movies try too hard to do that. Um, nope, instead it's what it is. It's an Indiana Jones movie for Indiana Jones fans. So, you know, ride into the sunset. Da 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 da. Da da da. Thank you for watching this video. Da 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 da. I'll see you in the next video. Da 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 da. You're cool. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 Cool kids, come in, cool kids. You're cool so you can hear this. We don't have much time. Join me at... at, at. Covert Go Blue HQ. Follow the coordinates on your screen to Covert Go Blue HQ. Covert Go Blue HQ is your ultimate destination for everything CGB. Get your play mats. Get your shark tokens. And get the first look at all new merchandise that CGB releases. There's even more that's on the way. Gear up with the only merch that's 100% certified by the one in best of one. At the coolest place for the cool kids, CoolStuffInc.com. Head to CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB. I'll see you at Covert Go Blue HQ. That's Covert Go Blue HQ.